Hello everyone and welcome back to Farthest Frontier. Once again, another year is coming to end year 18. We're a bit low on food, but it's going to push us through winter here once more. And yeah, well, beautiful village we have, I guess. Um, and we do have a couple of things we need to fix right now. First of all is my crop fields. Some of them have a pretty low fertility. It's going down here, as we can see. So I'm already doing some field work here, right? Um, this is pretty important because there is a weed level for this field, for example is at 56%. So we do have a lot of weed that we need to get rid of and that's where the field work comes in. I hope that with that we can solve it. I'm probably going to go with another um, field work than in this area. We could also just make a full year without anything um, going on in it, right? And this might actually also change things for the better. So this one here, um, the farmers will perform field maintenance instead of growing crops, provide a chance to reduce the weed levels and remove rocks. And of course, the high weed level that we have here is causing the um, fertility to go down. Also, the soil mixture um, for, um, let's just see it out, for wheat is good, for beans it's very good, and for cabbage it's not that great. So for cabbage, I would probably like to go it down a bit. Or, actually, you know what, let's not, I cannot undo this. I think I cannot undo this. <laughs> Um, all right, so in that case here, uh, let's uh, put it down there a bit more. We should have some more specialized fields then, I guess. Some of them, you know, want to have more mixture in it, and some of them want less. So, for example, here we got the carrots, we got the the flax, right? Um, we got the, the cabbage. So, these are here... Oh, no. These are rather on the higher ground, so let's just add a bit more to it, right? So that we get a bit closer to the green area there for, for these crops, right? So that we get a bit more... Um, yield out of it. There is also high weed levels here, so we should work more on the fields there, really. Um, fertility is suffering because of that. So here we have it now too. Very high weed level on that one, so we're definitely going to stop anything today, flax, and just go with uh, two times the assigned workers there for this one. Um, and this one is actually having low weed level, but also low fertility. I think... I think we need to rotate those crops a bit more. I'm already rotating them quite a bit, um, but I think we should also just leave them barren. Some of you have been suggesting that. So we might just go with one year for nothing, for example, to give that chance to, to uh, regenerate. Perhaps this is doing something. I have no idea. I'm not a farmer. I've actually looked it up, but it seems like we should leave it empty for one year, right? Um, and in that case here... There's the weed level once more. So let's try it with this one, right? It has no crop assigned. The game actually gives me a warning that I should assign something to it. That's a bit confusing. We might also just make a full year of, of field work um, and then just go with full years of, of something that we can do. Let's try it with two fields there and just see how it goes, right? So this is just field work now and the other ones are in the mixed here. So that's that. Right. -o. Uh, we do need more fields though, right? I have this up here still. That is a good feel, uh, fertility, um, but high weed levels. So already working now it should be better than for this one. Um, and let's actually increase that. So here also field work because this is looking quite nasty over there. I would like to go ahead with another field. So we have plenty of fertile ground here. This is just looking fantastic for us, right? So this is what I would like to see. This is where we can really go into farming. And we do need to go into more wheat farming. So let's just make this whole bunch here. And I'm probably also going to make then... There we can still have another field right next to it then. Doesn't need to be any any fence next to it, right? We just... It's not going to be as big as the other one, I guess. Because we do lack fertility then. But we can do it like that. And then I'm going ahead with some more fields here. And another big field then here. Oh, wait a second. No, we do need to leave some room for the fences, right? Without fences. Oh, we have just a general big fence around it. We could do this. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do this. Let's have a big fence around it. I mean, how far am I away from the village? Quite far. It just could be, uh, could we go with uh, two big fields there? Right, and they have a fence then all around them, so I don't need to worry about fences in general for each uh, field there, respectively. Right, so doing it like that, perfect. Then we have the road that goes then through here. So we should be able to do this. Yep, like so. And then the road goes all the way up here. And these. Oh wait a second, we are being attacked once more by raiders. 
they're trying to get to my gold. And also Barn is being attacked. But as we can see, they're being shot down massively here. So they will probably never really get rid of, uh, never really have a chance at my gold here. It's crazy how fast they go down. That's beautiful to see. This feels like a, a tower defense game then almost, right? Oh yeah, also the theater is coming along here right in the center. Still need some planks. And let's actually also ring the bell. It's a bit late for that, but we still have a chance. Some villagers are still being attacked. A building is on fire. Up there, oh yeah. Up there we have some heavy attacks, it seems. The smokehouse. Oh yep, yeah, there's more raiders here to come. I think I will need to put out some defenses up there as well, but defenses are so expensive. Alright. Ah, now they're attacking the gates here as well. They try to, to breach it. Yeah, they're trying to breach the gates here to get to my vault, where there's lots of gold in store. Alright, the first raid here, because these are several raids, right? Oh my goodness, they're breaching the gates. They're actually successful. They're attacking now the towers. That's a lot of raiders here. But they're going down. Lots of them. Down, 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 down. And now they're fleeing. The first raid was not successful. So they, they just lost nine raiders. And as we can see, they also lose their loot, right? So it's on the streets then. Lying around. But they took something with them for sure. Yeah. It's where it was a lot of them. 29 raiders and they just straight went for my for my gates here. We can upgrade them and that's what I'm going to do for the next raid then. Alright, lots of loot though. So we get some of, our, of the stuff back. But they're still going home with some loot there. Hmm. Alright. Let's continue. We do need some fences around our... Around our fields then, right? So we do have that here. And then we just have those fields all the way over here. Those... um fences right then here and all around this one and all around there again this is going to cost me and by the way since we are actually already building those fields i could i could and will have another field here a smaller one for this further area right that's good right and then we can have these fences here around that and also in here going back to my to my road that we have then there so that's better and here we have then the fence all around here we do need a fence gate to the outside right so that the road can still go outside and here we are now completely surrounded then by fences this whole thing here needs to be repaired so i hope i think we need to do this manually <laughs> there doesn't seem to be a button for that manage the walls we need to rebuild this. So that this field is also fully surrounded again. And then we have it here. And by the way, here we also will need then a fence gate. Right? So that there is the entrance to these ones. Otherwise, the deer will probably move in here. Because these are smart animals and they really want my crops. There you go. Now we have it all surrounded by... It should look actually nice then, right? And we got lots of that available then. Now, one villager was killed. Um, 350 gold ingots were stolen. Some food was stolen. And iron and 20 arrows, right? It's not the worst. But since it was a big raid, it was actually two big raids, all right? The first one was unsuccessful. But the second one lost 15 raiders but still managed to loot something. So that was a pretty massive raid here that we just had. And I think we didn't fare so bad. So that's fine. But we definitely lost something, uh, some food there as well. So this might be a problem for us then now. Um, all these fields, very important. We need more grain, right? So the grain comes in them, that we can make more bread out of that. So we still have lots of flour in store anyway. Yeah, ammunition is missing right now. Uh, missing heavy tools, really? There is heavy tools though. By the looks of it. By the way, do we have some trader? Yes, there is a trader. And let's just see what he would purchase. Yeah, nothing really useful. Nothing that we can really give him there. So I'm just going to not do it. And you please stop making normal tools. Stop making weapons. Just make heavy tools only, right? You can do this. 
Even though you do need them, heavy tools? Don't we have them? Sure, we still have two of them, so go in there, get it. Is it in my market, perhaps, still? Yes, there it is. We still need to transport them to the global storage. So this is taking quite some time, right? So this will probably take the whole year finishing this whole new farming area that we are planning and building up. But it's going to be awesome, I hope. Um, let's also add some compost to one of these fields, uh, especially with the lower fertility. There is some shelter that we need to rebuild. All right, some one building we've lost to the raid. Seems. We're still consuming all the planks that we have for the theater. 19 more planks. Then we need locks. We are also down now with all the fence building. But my work camps should take care of that. This mine is out of ore. Out of clay. No! All right. Can I upgrade this one? Nah. So this is really done for, right? We can delete it. Get some of the resources back. And then I will need to find a new clay deposit. And I think there was one not too far away. There is one in the farming area where we have it. So I can go ahead with another clay deposit. Perfect. Let's build it and let's have a road connection then from here. That we can make just beside the field then. And then we have a bit more clay coming in. Clay we have lots of, right? There's another deposit over there. So we are not running out of that so soon. And since we're already in the building frenzy, <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, wait a second. We got a whole new trader there coming in. And she would purchase coal. We have lots of that. She would purchase gold. Let's go ahead and sell our gold for 1,500 coin. I'm in for that. Perfect. That was a good, good profit there. And with that, we probably could purchase something... Heavy tools, she would have. We already have two heavy tools, but let's go ahead and purchase a few more. Just to make sure that we have really enough of that. Gold, we really don't need that much, right? So we are pretty much capped on gold almost. It's fine. And by the way, what I can see is the bell is still tolling. So, still ringing. Let's not do this. Heavy tools, that's fine. Um, we definitely do want to have a bit of that. Uh, there is a bit of coal. No, let's not go with coal. My goal is also done for, since we're consuming coal now, uh, gold for gold making. It's all about the tools, really. Let's get it to the global storage. And that's that, right? So that was a successful trade once more. And the blacksmith forge. It has heavy tools in store, right? So there's a heavy tools in storage. It produced no heavy tools in the last year, though. Is it not working yet? It says that heavy tools is missing, but heavy tools is in the storage. Now they're being used for work. Let's disable the building and activate it once more. Is it working now? Please work. The pretty important thing that we have here. They're idle. They don't want to work. We do have the coal, we do have the iron. Both of them are in storage. I think iron ore is missing, though. It seems like it's working, but it says also they are idle. I think they're just waiting, perhaps, for iron ore, then. Yeah, there's iron ore coming in. Stocking blacksmith forge. This one is wandering, producing tools. You should not produce tools, please. You need to produce heavy tools for us. Alright, let's hope that this works then, actually. And here, this one's working just fine, right? It's using the heavy tools there as well. And we do also get lots of gold and iron ore out of this one. Um, the ratio remains the same, so focus is on the iron ingots, for sure. Alright, so we do need to have lots of them. Um, right, so another thing that we need to get... Uh, oh, by the way, my theater is ready. There it is, what a beautiful building. Fantastic. We got a theater now in the city. Let's also decorate it right away with a, a, a bit of a plaza there, right? So this cost me stone. Oh, wait a second, a smaller plaza. Gold and stone. Let's have this one here, right in front of it. And then in the back, definitely some decoration. So these patches of grass or these patches there. Can I do this? I can do it here, I guess. Yeah, there you go. And then also some trees over here in this area, but that's it then, right? 
and then it is providing happiness to all my people and as we can see with that we have the desirability bonus finished so these houses here have now the 65 percent that is necessary to upgrade them to tier 3 um, the only thing they want now is another food type and either a candle or pottery so we need to provide either one of these luxury goods that would be my next production chain stem but for now that theater can work here now perfect there's even an upgrade to this one here to make it even more monumentous. Meanwhile, work on the fields continues into autumn. Oh my goodness, we're not even halfway there, right? There's so much here that you need to flatten, but we have enough people really to, to work on that so they can just work through all of it. Um, but it's going to take a long time really before we can boost our, our food there. And since we're also a bit low on food, I would like to slaughter one cow. So... One of them we can slaughter, that gives me 500 meat, and that meat we can make into smoke meat, and yeah, get just something more out of it. We could upgrade some buildings here too, but I'm not doing that for now. Firewood is fine, logs is now low, so I guess my work camps need to work harder. Let's assign more people to these work camps. That would be one, right? And this is the only work camp that we have in this area. Let's move it over there, because there's the other one that is working already here. That's two work camps then, getting us the the locks. And then we should have another one over here somewhere, right? There it is, working this area. And the clay pit still needs some, some planks there before it can work then. And the year 20 is upon us. Another successful year, more or less, we're close to starvation, but we are still doing fine on the food, right? No one died to starvation yet. I, gotta, I, gotta, I just have to um, say that out loud, right? Um, though I'm working on it. Um, so I'm using now um, with the fields. The fields is really complex, I gotta say that. It's a bit hard for me to fully understand it, but uh, my idea is now that we leave one complete year available just for working on the field, you know, weeding it and stuff like that and not growing anything on it um so this is the um the technique that i'm using now that actually was introduced in the middle evil time so for here for example let's get rid of uh, actually let's make it for uh, this year here already right so there's just going to be some field work and then we could use hopefully the next year then for a nice new harvest of wheat for example that i would like to have in this area then something like that um, because we need to get the fertility up. It's pretty low now um, on most of my fields and of course that is hurting us already. Um, it's also going down the moment we built those fields. That's interesting. Here we got 90% uh, wheat level for this newly built uh, field, right? Um, so it's going to be only field work this year. There's not going to be any crops or something like that. People just work on that. And I realized that we might be yeah, running out of food now because most of my fields are having such a low um, fertility, right? That it's really hard. But, and that's a huge but, there's the trader coming in. I'm going to transfer some gold to the trading post here and purchase us food for this year. I don't usually like to do this, but we need to now. We have the gold after all, um, and I need to feed my people. By the way, can we upgrade the brick root cellar once more? No, we cannot. So for storage-wise, we are yeah using everything that is possible already. There is still the cooper now. The cooper is using uh, is making barrels, which increases the longev longevity of stored food. So let's definitely get the the cooper done. But since we've invested so much into uh, into fences, right? Um, I'm a bit low there on locks right now. We need to wait on that. All right, trading post. Let's just see what you got for me here, please. Some food, beans would be possible. Very cheap that is. Uh, flour would be possible. Let's go ahead and purchase flour. Uh, for all the all, all the gold basically that we have here, right? So that's all of it and then transfer that to the global storage So that one and yeah, let's actually get more gold to my trading post. We have it right and Also, wait a second. What could we sell? Nothing really some heights some pelts that we have right we could do this transfer some of that over from the global storage and sell that for some coin that trader is not making too much of a profit there from us. But we need to focus a bit on that, right? I do need to get a bit of uh, food in now um, from outside because of all the mistakes that I've done, right? So you can curse me all you want. Uh, that farming system is really complex and <laughs> it's a bit hard to understand there at first, but I think we're on a good track with that now. Um, as long as we're making money there, we should also be golden. There is now the heights, so let's sell this for the coin and then we could go ahead and purchase some beans there as well. Lots of them, by, by, by the way, right? We have the 1,500 
that is some 700 beans that I would like to purchase then as well. Very good. But there is now all of that coming in and let's transfer the beans also over to my global storage. Get it up. And that's it. Then I'm waiting for a second trader who hopefully is going to come. There it is. Arrive. There you go. Second trader. And yeah, very good. My resources are also recovering again from all the building that we had. And by the way, is there some... Oh yeah, we're actually harvesting something on that field. And the second trader has arrived. Uh, that menu is buggy. He wants to purchase some clay. We have clay in the market. So this is not clay that I'm losing directly, right? But we still had it in the market. And let's just transfer that over. Do we have beer? Oh, I do have I do have quite some beer and it's valuable. So we could do this. Mm. Iron. Do I have iron ore? No, let's not do this. And for purchasing smoked meat, he would have... Um, yeah, I guess we could go with that, right? Some locks there as well, perhaps. I do have 400 gold still. It's not much. Let's transfer more gold over. Tra transfer all of that because I would like to purchase some locks there as well to bump my lock industry there again, right? Because it's a bit low with all the fences that we just built. Right. Can I... I could sell more clay if I wanted to, but I'm not. We have the gold in. Let's purchase some locks there as well. 100 should be fine. And then also some meat here for a 1,000. Let's purchase some more blocks there to really boost our economy. Very good. And let's transfer that. By the way, I think when we purchase that, right, we could also buy and transfer right away. Yes, my mistake. So we could get this one to the global storage then as well right away. In that case, let's do it like that. We do need to have these two extra steps. Anything else in the inventory? Nope. And that's the trading for this year. Successful. We got also the food in again. And that should increase happiness a bit. And the logs are going to be used for the planks then right away. And also for the firewood. Nine people wish to um, come into a village. I'm going to turn them away. Because we really cannot afford more people as long as my food supply is not up. And we also have lots of unemployed people still. So um, that's that. Let's get another work camp. Because I really would like to get this... Um, lock production up there again to to high high ground um i could have another work camp over here we could also get to the other side of the village and up there we have lots of forest area so i'm going ahead with another work camp then just here in this area beside the clay pit right and the work area is going to be then in these in this forest there so that they can work on that all right so that's that uh, we can also spread some compost again to one of my fields go ahead with this one and by the way, this one has now yep, some field work and then there's the beans again. Look at that. The estimated yield though has definitely gone up there for, for at least the beans. And then we're going to make a full year of nothing. The cabbage. Um, and then we're going with... Yeah, I definitely do need to keep some fields at least um, with something on board. Otherwise, it's just going bad. Fertility here is going up again, as far as I can see. 44%. Um, and here we have lots of beans. So that's going to be a good harvest. And there we also have a very good harvest here. Holy cow. So this one is looking fantastic. Um, and next year, and then we are probably going to like this one here, just field work. All right, so we're going to make it like that now. This one has only field work today. It's necessary. Look at the wheat level. And at least on the next year, I would like to have wheat for once, right? So that we do get something in. And then I'm deciding. Next field ready um, for this one. Uh, this year is almost over now. So there's not that much I can do. Just going to be some field work. And then definitely one wheat. We do need it. And then I'm going with... Let get some cabbage there. And some carrots late in the year, right? So this one goes then into, into autumn. Should be good for that. Right. Though we have still very high wheat levels. I might assign another field work into this one. Also the fences are coming along, right? So taking some time. But it, they're going to be ready once we have then everything set up. Or this massive farming area that we have up there. I've also built another tower here. This one. Uh, we can upgrade them later on, right? Um, and I think we can also upgrade, yeah, those fences then with stones. However, I don't have enough stone. This is actually tier 3 building, so I'm pretty sure that bricks would be the last uh, step then. And stone is the middle step. However, we're so low on stone, I will probably need to get stone imported 
Um, pretty soon I was trying to get a few more rocks now around the area. Um, but that's it, right? So there's not that many rocks anymore. We can still explore some area up there. Uh, looks like there is some water. Heavy forest and uh, area that we have there. And then we got this whole area which is ending here, I think. Yep, that's it. And on that side, there's some rocks here still that we can harvest. So let's do this manually because I don't want to reassign the, the, the workplaces there all the time. And they go for it anyway once I select it, right? And there we still have some area to explore here, please, as well. Because there might still be something interesting. So far so good. This year is uh, coming along. We do have some food. Uh, my storages are going up again. And then we can focus on some luxury goods finally. And also further improving our fields there. Stay tuned. <laughs> 